Welcome to the world's first review of this new 5-inch Android tablet from China. It's only $100, uh, at least that's the price they sell it to resellers. And uh, it's also being sold right now for 699 RMB in China. You can see it's a 5-inch Android gingerbread right now. It's a capacitive screen, so it's not bad. You know, it works when you touch. It has uh, all kinds of Android features. Let's go back to the main Engadget website. There. Is this the website? Yeah. So you can see it browses the internet. Um, the size, the size difference. Here is the size difference with the seven inch. Seven inch versus 5 inch, so this one fits a little bit better in the pocket, you see you can fit it in, in your jacket pocket right here um, here's the size difference with a 4.3 inch which uh, some people are saying is the maximum for their smartphones, whatever this is 5 inch, 4.3 inch, you see how big it is, it's kind of like the same size as the whole device, but just a screen of course they have bezel around it and they kind of have some weight in here, it's like 300 something grams, so it's, they could have made it maybe less heavy and here's a iPhone size, 3.5 inch. You see, you can kind of put an iPhone here and another iPhone up here. It's kind of like double the size of an iPhone, the screen. So I'm going to show you more about the specs of this device. Let's uh, check it out over here. This is the website. You can find more information here at windows88.com. So let me check, uh, click onto their website. It's 1.2 gigahertz RK28-2918. 5 inch capacitive, 4 point multi touch, it has a Vivante GC800 uh, graphics, which is a really quite a cool new graphic processor that they use. Uh, let, let's log in here. You can see more 1.2 gigahertz, up to 16 gig, black or white, doesn't matter if you black or white. And here, music, 3000 milliamp. This battery is pretty big battery. In here, all these videos are playing back. So let me show you some more about. It. So here is what you get in the box. You get um, headphones. You get a USB cable. And the cool new thing is you can get you get the USB host adapter. So you plug this to US, mini USB, and you can plug in, for example, a 3G dongle. You can plug in that, or you can plug in a keyboard, plug in a keyboard directly into the device. And uh, here is the USB, USB host, and a normal USB. So you would connect your keyboard or whatever, just connect it right here. And the charger goes in there, charger here, charger here, and headphones there. And so let me let me try to show you what it can do. So I'm gonna go on the web browser. You see there's a multi-touch is fine, it's fast. I'm gonna here and I'm gonna try to type in some text. It should show there's a, what's it called the instant view thing. Google Instant. Push up the volume. So it's connecting over my Wi Fi here at home. And here, clicking around a little bit. <clears throat> so it's 1.2 gigahertz uh, ARM Cortex A8. It's a kind of similar, um, similar processor that is in the iPad 1 similar it's actually a faster processor than what you have in the iPad 1 and it's faster as well the compared to the uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab you can see that they really got inspired by the Galaxy Tab I don't know if you want to say yeah it's probably copy kind of but it's 5 inch you know so let's go over here I want to try show you the UI a little bit so here you can put all your games in here, for example. I'm gonna launch this one. A 
it's gonna take a while to get in. So let's check this game. Let's check out the Vivante 3D graphics. There you have some some of that stuff. I can oh, I can run Google Maps. Full Google Maps works, and you can load a uh, satellite view if you want. Alright, and uh, let's go back here. So they have this custom home replacement UI, which is kind of similar to some Samsung stuff. Let's go in uh, Angry Birds. You can see that Angry Birds works. It's always important to prove that Angry Birds works. So, loading. through here so that works quite perfectly um, video playback Ooh, let's go here some avatar Chinese avatar and uh, the gallery So I'm gonna load this one. And I go like here. This photo is not very high quality. So go into settings. I can show you that it is actually running gingerbread. And uh, they can probably upgrade this to to ice cream sandwich in the future. So you have games, support, pretty decent video playback, pretty de decent web browser as well. So let's just load another website or two just to check that out. I'm gonna go in the bookmarks I'm gonna choose one of those here CNN so the processor is kinda of faster than the Galaxy Tab and this is a hundred dollar device huh? you really have to consider that so the screen is not the best in the world huh? but um, there might not be so many five inch screens on the market but it's not too bad. I mean, it's capacitive. This is not Super AMOLED, so you can compare this with the Samsung Galaxy Note. It's kind of a similar thing, hundred dollars, hundred dollars. Well, the Samsung Galaxy Note might be, I don't know, seven hundred. Not sure. Whoops. Um. But the main things are. Well. You saw the tablet. It's a five-inch copy. They copied the uh, the Samsung Galaxy Tab, but I don't know why they did that because that kind of makes it harder for legitimate resellers to sell it in Europe and the U.S. But they told me they can put this in other designs. They can basically make another exterior if you want, but you have to order a bunch of them, and then you can tell them what you want, and they will customize the design for you. Here's the speaker. And uh, the price is less than a hundred dollars, but you have to order like at least hundred pieces, maybe five hundred pieces, maybe a thousand. So you just go on Windows88.com if you're interested. 
you talk to them, you tell them if you wanted to look like Samsung or not and they will customize and they will send those and it's gonna be awesome, like in a month there's already ice cream sandwich on this RK29 and uh, I like this form factor, I like 5 inch, I think 5 inch is quite, is there just a future in 5 inch